40 up on the board. Here we go. Green flag in the air and down the board. Lucas Oil and the red. Bruning will slide up. Herb's going to try and skate underneath the back bumper. That 16 machine not able to get it done. And here he goes down into turn number three. Tyler Bruning on the top side cushion. He will lead lap number one. Towards car number one. Great three car battle for their runner up position. Bruning will skate to the outside. Down the front straight away into turn number one. Once he gets past the 15 of Schroeder, it looks like it's going to be some great side by side racing. Right in front of him, you've got Mater off the racetrack in turn number four. He is up to the top, going to bring out a caution. I would assume it will. Caution out for the 55 of Chad Mater. Bruning will show the way up top. Now, Garrett Alverson trying to sneak by on the bottom side. He's got that Roberts Motorsport 58 pinned to the bottom side of this racetrack. Taking advantage of the restart is Brandon Shepard now. Races his way into the runner-up position. Tyler Herb will go down to the bottom side. Up alongside Dennis Herb. Turbo Tyler Herb is charging to the front in this one. Starting back with the back half of the top ten. Makes his way around Dennis Herb into the fourth position as Alberson. Continues to do the same line he ran a night ago, working the bottom side of the racetrack, trying to keep that right rear tire in condition as Chad Simpson. He will slip up on the top side of turn number four. That's your current MLRA point leader. He gives up a couple of critical positions on a very tight line on that top side of three and four. Now, Shepard moves to the bottom side. That opens up the top for Alverson. Alverson will have the run down the front straightaway. This time by, we will put 19 laps on the board halfway home next time by. Lap traffic exiting turn four as our race leaders are making their way into turn number three. So still a little bit of time as now Alberson once again puts a charge onto the inside. Would love to be able to wrestle this race lead away from the 16 to Bruning before they get into this lap traffic. As Tyler Herb closes in as well. You are about to throw a blanket over the top four cars here in Davenport. Alberson along the inside. He's got a great run this time off the exit of turn number two. Here in Alberson momentarily out in front here on lap number 21. Off the exit of turn number four this time at the line. It is still Tyler Bruning showing the way in car number 16. This time, off the exit into Alberson. Will shoot to the lead. Here in Alberson is taking the lead for the second night in a row. Here with 17 laps to go. We've seen the lap traffic at night ago. Really made an advantage for the guys further on back. Allowed them to reel in the race leader. That time, Alberson, a very wide line down the front straightaway, arcing in that corner. As he makes his way to the outside of the one X of Aaron Morant. What a great battle for this second spot of the speedway. Last time by Alberson out in front by 1.44 seconds. This time 1.40. So Brandon Shepard a little bit quicker that time by as he now clears the 16 car Bruning. Alberson and I to go content to run the bottom side. Oh, deja vu back down to the inside of Steve Stoltz. Exactly how we finished it last night. Alverson got to move him out of the way one more time as he goes to the inside of Stoltz down into turn number one. Two lap cars right immediately in front of him. Here comes Brandon Shepard. Shepard's going to drift it in a little bit higher line. Brandon Shepard within a couple of car lengths. Six laps to go. It's within three, four car lengths off the exit of turn number two. 0.845 seconds of difference. Shepard, nothing between him and the back bumper of the Roberts Motorsports number 58. Shepard keeps his foot in the throttle, arcs that straight away again. Now you've got Dustin Hodges right there in the crosshairs. He's on the outside. Alberson could have to try and thread a needle. Alberson to the outside of Tim Simpson. This could be that Swiss Springs move of the race right there as he splits it down the front straight away. This time behind the Barron's performance. One to go for Garrett Alberson. Alberson down the back chute. Brandon Shepard, he's got a clear shot at him, but he is going to run out of time on this one. Alberson takes the conservative move to the bottom side of the race, fans. 
Garrett Alberson back to back at Davenport. Alberson gets the win. Brandon Shepard in the second spot.